Hi to Chaco. Let me refresh. Maybe that will work. What? Okay. Um. Oh, watch. I'll see after this game if I can find out what's wrong with the overlay. I'll just do it manually for now. Foggy. Actually, I can maybe. But the flags are wrong now as well. Oh no. Lynn. And foggy. Players' forces are under attack. There, no flags. There it is. Foggy vs. Lin. Not sure why my overlay is not working. It's probably not my fault. It's usually not my fault. Hello there. Hello, Michael. Hello, first. I guess uh, you're first. I mean, I don't see anyone else in my chat. So, yeah, you're first. We have uh, a mouse. My mouse that keeps falling down. Like the wire is pulling on my wild mouse. It's pretty annoying. Okay, this is good enough. We have Ted here. Ted is uh, watching this game between Foggy and Lin. Foggy has a demon hunter. Lin, he has a blade master. Blade master here. Go for the move -well. Hello, Riza Owens. Hello. The shop got cancelled. The move -well did get cancelled. The blade master. What is he gonna cancel with his sword? I mean, maybe the life of, of uh, an archer. That's what he wants to cancel. There goes Grunt. He goes for the next Grunt. He wants his Grunt so badly. He just He's right-clicking that Grunt. He got one already. If he can get another one, then he got two. And uh, two Grunts is so good. Blade Master does have dust, but the Archer just runs away. Can he save the Grunt here? It depends. Where's the Archer? The Archer is nowhere close by. Demon Hunter Teep is out. And this Grunt survives here for Lin. Nice. Survival. Nice survival here for Lin. Lin is he? Uh, he's going to creep. He's going to creep. He wants his rogue. He wants these apprentice wizards. And here we have a demon hunter. Blade master on the grunts, just killing some creeps. Cloak of shadows picked up here by a rusty cage. There's a DC beast here, spirit lodge. A lot of everything here for Lin. And we have a Beastmaster now for Foggy. He summons a piggy immediately. Hello, Mr. Chaco. Hello, Mr. James. Hin. Hello. The demon -ter. He sees this grunt. The grunt is pretty strong. Look at his muscles. But not strong enough to fight a demon hunter. So. Foggy. Foggy. Oh, the grid is not updated. I can do that in a second, actually. It only takes a mil microsecond, really. So I can do it so fast nowadays. But we have a piggy here. A piggy and the demon and the beastmaster. Just going for this burrow. There, there, is, there it is. The burrow totally uh, is going to be cancelled, destroyed even. There it goes. Piggy it goes down. And the peons. What they, do they do now? Now that the burrow is gone. Well, they go back to work. We have a piggy, demon hunter, and a beastmaster, and a piggy. The piggy can it cancel anything? No, not by himself, right? A burrow, maybe. No, he's going for the TC and the grunts. Working on the grunt. Shockwave kills the uh, horsey. <laughs> we have a demon hunter here. He has nice slippers of agility. He has a nice circlet. Beastmaster and a blade master fighting. Is the beastmaster gonna win the fight? Of course. Gets a blade master, of course. Okay, that is uh, pretty nice. There are some other cameras. Ah. Is under 
They're just creeping. Oh no, they're not just creeping. There's an attack on the main by the Blade Master. Well, we have Dryads. Chaco, nice thing you're paying so much attention to this game. Because we have Dryads for Foggy. It's, where's this Hunter's Hole? Over here, hidden. Hidden Hunter's Hole. He's just going Dryads. Instead of Druids of the Talon. Of course, uh, you guys know that I don't like Dryads that much. But sometimes, surprise attack with the Dryads does win your games. You just, uh, you just have to play really well. And he had a good early game so far, Foggy did. So, I mean, this game's not over yet. Foggy hasn't lost yet, just because he went Dryad. This uh, Dryad dies. 96 critical strike. And the Blade Master just killing all the Dryads here. By himself. It's pretty strong. But meanwhile, over here. Not much happens it's over there. Demon Hunter Beast Master is going to creep a little bit more. They want these Kobolds to go for these Kobolds. A lot of damage dealt to this kobold. <laughs> this one is dead. Now he's going for this one. I think it's time to uh, wake up, right? Yeah, let's let's take some caffeine. I wake up. I almost had to sneeze there, but I held it in. Thank God, much better. Okay. Okay, Blade Master and the TC finish this creep camp. Uh, info potion here on the TC. Blade Master has a heal scroll now. He has Spirit Walkers. And of course, we uh, we only see Dries here. This Dries is dead. But yeah, no tree of eternity. He's going for he's going for nature's blessing. Nature's blessing. That's nice. Level three beastmaster. Level three demon hunter. He's so agile. Plus nine agility. Plus eleven agility. Thirty-seven agility. Beastmaster also level three. Is pretty strong. The TC is still only level two, and he went shockwave. Hello, surferus. He went shockwave. Not very good against uh, dryads, of course, or heroes or anything really. Just not very good. I wonder if he gets level 3, if he picks level 2 Endurance Aura. It's something uh, we see sometimes against Dryads. This uh, raid takes a bit of damage. <laughs> the illusion goes down. This guy, Lightning Shield. There's some fake. Some fake guys. Detonate. The, oh, well, let's see what he picked. No, he did pick level 2 Shockwave. Well, there's some piggies and ogres and trolls that he can shockwave. Uh, he hits the demon and the mauler. I think that's about it. The berserker though dying so fast to the blade master. Blade master just kills him. Grunt is dead. This grunt also pretty dead. Is this uh, foggy's 12 supply up? But it's mostly dryads. Now he loses his ogre mauler, which actually was the uh, unit he sh was, you know, at a bad position. He should be fighting raiders with the mauler instead of uh, spirit walkers and grunts. This berserker is micro back. Nice to micro there. But do we have staff? We have a staff teleportation, but this is not enough. The Beastmaster is dead. The Berserker went down, but a lot of units have been killed here. For both players, in fact. So, I'm not sure who's winning. This, uh, there goes another dry. This grunt super low. The TC uses the info potion so he can get away. And, yeah, it seems like killing that blade, killing the Beastmaster was, you know, enough here for Lin. The supplies are equalized a player's forces are under attack and demon are coming back beastmaster will be back sometime soon in the well probably very soon future very near future because he's coming from the tavern there he is my life for hire and let's see foggy is still but the supplies are still kind of even but i mean that's not good for foggy Foggy has dryads. Dryads are useless. However, however, this army here of Lin, mostly spears walkers, and they aren't very strong against dryads either. They're, they're weak cells, guys. They're weak cells against dryads. TC is level 4 now. So is the Blade Master. So is the Demon Hunter. At least the summons, the piggies, are gonna be dispelled so easily. With all this dispel. Nothing there. 
Maybe a Berserker. Hello, if you want a Berserker, it's available. Or was it available? I'm sure it was available. Berserker is just so good. Base forces are under attack. Okay, her boulder here on the Blade Master. What are you drinking, man? I'm drinking a water. Just water. Demon to the Beast Master here, killing these creeps. Rock Golem is dead. What do we get? Uh, what a mana stealing, not amazing. Did he did he get a granite golem? Yeah. A medallion of courage. Also not amazing, but I mean it's pretty good on the TC. I guess. Is this semis? This is the winners finals, guys. The winners finals. For of this group. Uh, these two drives dying so fast. This uh, this raider also dying, of course. And this ancient war is here as well. These piggies nicely split so they don't get uh, dispelled in one. Dispel high chuck. Hello, Simon. Uh, Alex, one, two, three. This uh, dry running for life. These drives are not in stairs, so they can just be microed. I'm not sure. He has two raiders with in stairs, but he's not uh, in stairing any of these dryads. There he is. There's this one. This dried. Hello, where's the micro? He dies. We have that birdie now with the magic damage. Going for the spirit walker that is in ethereal form. Uh, now let's go for another one, but I mean there was uh, there's also still three guns left to kill with the magic damage Beast gets surrounded again uh, And he has nothing to save himself. He can live a little bit longer with the healing potion That's it and he dies again And is that what's gonna make foggy lose this game losing his beast master twice besides that beast master dying twice He played pretty str pretty well. Yeah pretty well but I mean the Beastmaster is pretty important. So maybe uh don't lose it twice. Blade Master level five now, level three critical strikes are gonna be amazing. There's one, two hundred and eight. Demon Hunter is uh almost level five. I wonder if he even picks level uh three mana burn. There's a four mana mana burn. This dried is dead. And I mean the raider took some damage, so Ancient War is a tree to try it blocked here so the Raider can take an end snare. Ancient War could have probably killed the Raider there, but he didn't. And the Demon Hunter finds a little Spirit Walker. Man burn for 19. Who do you think is going to win, Chaco? Lin, of course. I <laughs> mean, at this point. After seeing the Beastmaster die twice. Earlier, I thought Foggy was going to win. But, um. Try it, man. You just can't. Throw away your Beastmasters. Right, maybe if you're playing Jews of the Talon, yeah, you could throw away Beastmaster once or twice and win the game still. But with Dryas, uh, Demon Dre is level 5. TC Big Run this game with the Aura. Yeah. There's some nice uh, Moonwell drinking. Uh, let's see what item we get here. Nice slam here by the creep. The granite golem. Is the beast smash back yet? No. No, he's not back yet. But he will be back. We have nine rides here. I cut it very fast because I did a math trick. I did three by three, that's nine. And then there was one extra now because uh, now we have ten. And he's building more, of course. We have a flying, a flying sheep. He wants it to golem. He wants it. But there's an, another slam. And here goes Foggy again. Nice timing again. Shockwave. For, and a mana burn. Uh, Foggy doesn't care too much about the item. He just wants to kill the units. It's a Catacurse uh, Pipe of Inside. Which is... Uh, maybe not the best. Anyway. Demonter. Is he going to die? He has a healing potion. Where's the Beastmaster? Hello. Okay, there's a big match. He didn't even use the healing potion. He just got stopped with like two hit points. These two drives, they could be uh, useful in the fight, by the way. Uh, Demon Hunter's back with some more hit points. He has uh, another healing potion. Shockwave on the Demon Hunter. He is he going to die? Not yet. Not yet, guys. Demon Hunter's still alive. He healing potion on cooldown. The Blade Master, there's a critical miss. He was about to die, but because of evasion, evasion saves the Demon Hunter and then he uses healing potion kills the Blade Master. Okay, maybe, uh, you know, maybe Foggy is going to win. That's uh, what I said, right? Of course, that's what I said. Foggy is going to win this. 
Uh, easy peasy. <laughs> it was all because of that evasion. There, see, that evasion is better than a f critical strike. Is Dryad here? Is she gonna be microed? Dryad Chan, is she gonna be. She's dead. The TC, you can stop. Okay. Oh, Sappers. Hello, there's another Sapper. He gets the altar. So the Blade Master can now. Uh, he buys three Sappers. That's a lot of Sappers. Altar now has to be built back from. Uh, I mean, Demon Dress. Blade Master has to be bought back from the Altar. But he also kills a Burrow, so. But uh, he's not Supply Stock. Hello. The Burrow kill was meaningless. Demon Dress staffed out. Chuck, I just broke up with my girlfriend. Sorry to hear that, Simon. Or, I mean, maybe, maybe not sorry to hear that. It depends. Like, but you do a sad face, so I guess sorry to hear that. Who do you think is going to win the tournament? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> TH is still in, right? TH, yeah, easy choice. Uh, Beastmaster here. Get staffed out. Blade Master's back, of course, from the tavern. And did did life not life? Foggy, did he overcommit here? Lose the three drives in a matter of seconds. This drive there is very low. He is dead. Okay. How much gold is left in the gold mine? 1260. Okay. This dry chan. This dry chan is taking a lot of damage. He sees that. Look how many drives just died. Hello. Just for one raider. One, two, three, four. Oh, just four? Five. Five. Ah! Bit of overcommitment there for Froggy. Team Hunter, he doesn't want to die. Imagine this raider surround, a snare surround. Uh oh, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter. Shockwave, he has a healing scroll and staff. Staff out the Demon Hunter. Beastmaster almost level 5. Level 5 Beastmaster would be so strong. Hey, he finally sees these two dryads. Or does he not see them? <laughs> yeah, he finally finds these two dryads here for Foggy. If he used those two dryads a long time ago. You know, maybe Foggy would have been in even better position. Oops. Um, I did cheer. I cheer for Lin. Did you break up because you watch Chaco all the time? Yes, but you said Lin is going to win Chaco. First you said Lin, I'll then you said Foggy. Right. What's going on here? It's because you know things change, right? Things change. We had a really good start for for Foggy. Then, um, he threw away the good start by losing his Beastmaster twice. So then we had the good, you know, it was good for uh, Lin. Then the critical strike was dodged by the evasion and the Demon Hunter killed the Blade Master instead of the other way around. So then it was good for Foggy again. Sneaky elves, Foggy, tricksy elves. Three sappers so expensive, it's like he did nothing, it even costs less than Blade Master buyback. Yeah, Chaco, things change. Hope she's okay, I feel so bad. Okay, well, hopefully my stream will cheer you up, Simon. Alex. That's my job, guys. My job is to cheer you uh, people up. People up that are uh, sad and stuff. Beastmaster summons a birdie. P -p -p Wisp. Oh, look at this, a bunny. P -p 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 Demon Hunter level 5 plus 6. Do we see a level 6 Demon Hunter this game? These heroes are both almost level 6. I meant cost more, not less. Uh, yeah, I understand. Three sappers, more expensive than the Blade Master buyback, right? I, I understood. Blade Master going for the Dryad. There's some more Dryads here. With a, a sheep in the air. One Dryad is dead. The Tree of uh, Ages is already moving, by the way. The maids are already out of gold. But there are Spirit Walkers here. And is this actually... Lin is looking so powerful here, over here. Level 6 Blade Master. Uh-oh. The Demons are not level 6 yet. Uh, he used a healing potion. 
The Dryad's here. They're trying to kill the Raider. Do we see Metamorphosis yet? Not anytime soon. Hello. He stops out the Demon Hunter, but this, the building's over there, so he has to stop. There's no more Raider, though. Oh, there's one Raider, but he is on cooldown. The uh, Ensnare. Hello. Where's Maiko? Foggy. Maiko, you Dryad. Foggy. Okay. Foggy, Maiko, and his Dryad. This, this Dryad is dead. This Dryad is uh, going to die. 212 critical strike. It's this. It is dead. And uh, Birdie in the air now. Going for the raider. If he just kills the raider, all fuck he needs to do is kill this raider. There's no more income here for orc. There's no more extra raiders that can be made for orc. So if fucking kills the raider, he can infinitely micro. He can just run away from units. He can kill units, and uh, not lose any units. And with the summons, uh, I mean, there's a piggy. The piggy is very strong and powerful. It takes three dispels to get rid of the uh, piggy. And spirit walkers, I mean. He has four spirit walks. Oh, 212 critical strike healing potion used there. The raider, hello, kill the raider now, foggy. It is easy pick, easy. Uh, he kills the raider. Demons are in trouble though. Blade master has no more mana. He did pick the blade storm, but never had mana for it. Uh, buys the dust, but cannot buy the. Oh no, never mind. It was about the info potion, uh, invis potion. And he tried to dispel the demons, but he missed. Uh, we do have the catgar's pipe of insight. And I said earlier it's kind of meh. It is of course good for uh, the spirit walkers dispelling the piggies. The piggies, the piggies are just, you know. Oh, what is the Ace of Lord doing over there? There was a miss micro there by Foggy. It cannot even root because there's a water. Good morning all, good morning clutch. Good morning is what I say to you. And that's what you said to me. Shockwave kills all the wisp. Oh, Shockwave level 3, so powerful. The TC, by the way, he has, is also level 6. I mean, saw it earlier. Uh, I didn't really mention it because it's not really that relevant. It just means that he cannot be focused first, right? It just means he's the last guy to die. But, you know, if you just if Foggy still kills the Blade Master and some Spirit Walkers, he's still going to win, right? So this level 6 TC, it pretty much, you know, it hardly does anything. This ultimate is not that good. Look at this <laughs> wolf. <laughs> oh, but mana burn breaks through. Oh, there's a shockwave, kills another wisp. Okay, well, this situation where you would normally maybe have uh, focused and killed the TC, but he gets away. So I guess you can see the power of the ultimate right here. Saving the TC in this situation. Okay. Blade Master coming back. 30 mana mana burn. He can't let that expansion go up. Oh, this piggy is so angry. And these creeps are still alive. Wow. Peons long distance mining. He only has two peons. Three peons actually. But two of them. Four peons even. But two of the peons are chopping trees. Okay, let me out the camera a little bit. A little bit of out of camera. Oh, no more out of camera. We have another fight. Nice 248 critical strike. But the evasions are powerful as well. He's level 2 evasion, of course. The, sp the spirit walker is dead. This one's also... Uh, no, not dead because the birdie is uh, was dispelled. So he cannot kill these guys anymore. He doesn't have magic damage, only mana burn. But uh, they don't have enough mana to be mana burned. DC... Um, Maybe he needs a mana burn on the DC. Because he will have soon another shockwave. The moon juice is its all empty. The piggy is angry. Okay, here we... Oh, no. Shockwave. Casted. Demon Hunter takes a bit of damage. He has another healing potion, though. These few wisps, they keep uh, adding more gold to the bank of Foggy. And he's using it for healing potions. These guys are dead. This is GG now. This is GG now. This is it, guys. This is uh, f zero chance now for for uh, what's his name, Lin. First game. This was a bit of uh, you know. I feel like both players threw a lot. Maybe maybe Foggy can still throw another time, but at this point it seems very difficult. It was a pretty exciting game, but at this point I uh, I don't want to call it because it's over. There it is. How to call it? Like my my control page. It was saying I was pulling from Netties, but you know, probably something a little bug somewhere. It's not really an important bug, but uh, yeah, 
So I just refreshed my console page and then I was saying, hey, you're pulling data from uh, World War 3 Arena. And I was like, no, this is Nettie's. Hello, Jaco. Hello. So yeah, it's fixed now. Everything is working again. With a Blade Master, TBCBM is awesome player. Uh, but like anyone, he made mistakes and so did Chimiko even. I didn't see the game, obviously, because I'm watching this Lin versus Foggy, but you guys, uh, TBCBM, I mean, I'm a big TBCBM fan, but he's not really at the level of these other players yet, guys. I mean, <laughs> he is going to be there, though. He's going to be there in the future. Oh, and this, this is a nice block here at the door. Blade Master, he really wants to kill this Demon Hunter. He's using his sword. His sword is so sharp and powerful. The, the Demon Hunter does have a TP. And the peons, look at the peon block here. Isn't that beautiful? And the uh, Demon Hunter has a TP out. What is this? Uh, does he go for Hunter's Hall again? Not yet. So I think on this map especially, we'll see Gears of the Tail and no Dryads. Hello, this is a different map. This map is so bad for uh, some units and not so bad for other units. It's good for Jews of the Talon. <laughs> Demon Hunter Terror Blade is level 2. Blade Master is level 1. Oh yeah. I have some vegetable uh, drink I made. Mostly spinach. Who's your favorite player, Chaco? Um, DBCBM? This grunt go for the moonwall. Blade Master killed the gnolls. This grunt is retreating, guys. Blade Master. Actually, on this map, the orange isn't that super easy to spot either. Because this, dirty, uh, this dirt on the minimap is kind of orangey. Just like the Blade Master. Does it, did you see the archer? Blade Master attacks the Beast Master a little bit. The piggy is going to the orc base. The grunt wants the Beast Master. Hello, world, and hello, Chaco. Hello, Osaria. Hello. This grunt here a takes a bit of damage. Okay. Blade Master and the grunt going for the piggy. And this uh, here is just. Uh, staff in for the Demon Hunter. The Piggy and the Demon Hunter, they want this uh, Spirit Lodge. Demon Hunter has been, you know, is uh, blocked here by the Peon. Demon Hunter is going down. Demon Hunter, uh, can he get through? Demon Hunter staffed out. Demon Hunter is gone, guys. But at least the Spirit Lodge uh, is going up. So nice defense here by, uh, by Lin. With the blocking of units, uh, Beastmaster and the, the Archer retreating. Do we, we do have the Ancient of Winds, right? Yes. So no Ancient of Lores this game. No Dryads, just Druids of the Talon. Piggy Chan, yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do really. Like, why even attack the Spirit Lodge? Go for this Peon, that's what I would say. Foggy, this Peon. You're not gonna get it. I mean, it's going to be up and you're never gonna kill it or anything. Just kill the Peon. You know, the peon could have uh, been killed. Especially if Lin was not paying attention. Oh, the peons, they won the XP. Nice. The peon goes out of the burrow, so the burrow don't get, doesn't get killed. Blade Master is scouting over here, but Foggy's over here. Did he not see Foggy? Did he move over here so he didn't see Foggy? I guess that's what happened. Two gloves of haste here for on the Demon Hunter. What's your favorite hero? My favorite hero is the Tinker. You said where you were drinking water? Yes. Water in this one and vegetable juice in this one. Uh, nice mana burn there. Level 1 mana burn on the TC. Chaco calling someone. A noob is an uh, insult. What's your opinion? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's an insult, of course. But it's like, you know, Twitch chat, man. It's, you know, don't don't worry too much about Twitch chat. Like, they, they call people noobs. It's, it's uh... Like, it's not always an insult, right? It's more like, uh, sometimes it's just like a, a playful insult, right? It's not like... I feel like calling an, someone a noob is less of an insult than saying, for example, Oh, he sucks, alright? Like, because, you know, you call your friends a noob, even though, like, they're really good at the game, but they just... They make one mistake, right? And you call them a noob. Like, oh, you're such a noob. 
right? So it's not always like, you know, with evil intent, like, oh, this guy, he should, he should, he should, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, sometimes it's, it's, it's fine. There goes the Archer, the Terror Blade, and the Beastmaster. They want this, no Overseer. The TC gets the last hit, though. The item was picked up by Foggy. Uh, illusions here on the Beastmaster. Demon Hunter does not stop out. He is going to die. Okay. Once I called the bus driver noob because he did not stop at my stop, but he didn't understand. <laughs> right. TC is level 2. Blade Master is level 2. Here's a piggy. I'm not sure. Do I ever? I sometimes call players noobs, right? But you know, when I call like Infi a noob or or you know TH a noob, I don't actually think he's a noob, right? I'm just like he just <laughs> he just made a silly mistake, and I just point out the mistake. <laughs> Calling a noob is just uh you know make it that makes it a bit more interesting. These Jews of Talon are not master yet. He's gonna get master soon. In a moment. This raider takes a bit of damage. Blade Master going for this Druid of Talon. Now there is master. Everyone is flying. Uh, there's not a good position for Lin. Hello. How come... Wait a second. How come Lin is so far behind? How come he's so far behind, guys? Have I been paying attention? The Demon Hunter even died. Lin should be ahead, right? Guess I've not been paying enough attention because... I'm suddenly in a situation this game where I don't understand wh how we got to this situation. Uh, Piggy, go for the grunt. Let's see, Blade Master has items. Huh. Hmm. Maybe it's just because he has a lot of money stored up? Look, Foggy has more supply than Lin. Does he have the items that he needs? The uh, healing scroll? Yes. Info potion, only one healing scroll, but he does have healing wards. <laughs> noob. <laughs> Who is noob? Chaco? Yeah, I'm a noob. I don't expect that Law Lin losing to Foggy. Uh, no, I mean, like, uh, I know this is possible. Foggy is really good in this matchup, guys. He's really good. This might be his best matchup. Although Foggy is also really good against human. That might also be his best matchup. Uh, Blade Master is flying. I mean, he, I mean, where Wisp there got in, uh, entangled or in, uh, snared. A nice mana burn on the Spirit Walker. TC is back on the floor. The sheep is totally dead. Probably Link killed him. There's no way that Foggy would kill that sheep. And can Foggy win the game here? Healing Wards is pretty strong though. Pretty strong. So Foggy retreats. What's Foggy going for? An expansion? Is he going for Angels of Wars? Is he going for more orbs? How many orbs does he have? He has one orb here on the Demon Hunter. No info potion on the Demon Hunter. Wait a second. No info potions. No uh, TPs. That's why Foggy has so many units. He doesn't have any items. Okay. So maybe uh, Lin can abuse that fact and just kill the heroes and win the game. The Druid of the Talon here takes no more damage. Close of face again. Three gloves of haste on the Demon Hunter would be nice. He's screaming with the Demon Hunter while the shop here takes a bit of damage. Picks up the gloves of haste with the Beastmaster instead. Demon Hunter killing all the gnolls. They're finally dead. But he still holds the position even though the Demon Hunter was just killing some gnolls. Lin does retreat a little bit. Nice. And oh, the radar here was still, in, uh, still flying. So now he's dead. The Demon Hunter is still level 2. So Foggy is very low on uh, XP. Or not very low. He's a little bit behind. Like these heroes are also still level two. I think uh, Foggy's best matchup is against human. He's, yeah, I mean, I understand. Like, I, I thought the same in the past, but recently it seems like uh, he's also very good against Orc. And with the recently, I mean like the last four months or so. I think he's been over 50% against Focus. And uh, he's also beating Lin. There goes the Druid of the Talon. Again, he uh, wakes up the creeps here at a really bad timing. Look at this. Like, what's Foggy doing? Demons are creeping here. 
Druids of Talon are dying here. This army is retreating over there. Maybe it's maybe I just jinxed it for for Foggy guys. Maybe I shouldn't have said that Foggy was good at this matchup, and he would have won this uh, game. But I just jinxed it for him. I, I hope he's not angry with me. He's losing a fairy dragon over there as well. Um, TC has a healing scroll, no info potion because I think a demon to bought it, right? Did the demon to buy the info potion? Yes. Demon to buy the info potion and healing scroll, so it's not available right now. There's still one healing scroll available. Three gloves, two hands. Seems TBCBM is out of this tournament. I mean, this is what I predicted, right? And even though I'm a big fan of TBCBM. And I'm sad. I'm pretty okay. The other close is still in the Beastmaster, by the way. I'm pretty sad to see TBCBM leave. But it's, uh, you know, at least Chimiko's still in. There goes another little baby Noel. There is the Tome of Agility. There's the birdie. A player's forces are under attack. So the blade master. Oh, there's a healing healing ward. So the demons are still not level threes, which means now now that we have these level three heroes for uh, Lin, level three beast master. Uh, sorry, B level three TC. Suddenly this lack of XP is uh, gonna matter. TC, uh, the Tinker's level two, but. He really needs these level 3 uh, heroes, the Demon Hunter and the Beastmaster, if Foggy wants to win this game. Now uh, Lin has the army he wants, but this position is really good for Foggy though. With the Ancient War, the Pocket Factory here, tanking uh, Raiders now even. The Peons helping killing it, kill it, and it does go down. Blade Master comes back on the floor. And we have one healing scroll used here for uh, Lin, but he has one more. But this, uh, this Raider dies because of the in an annoying little Wisp block here. And do we have level 3 yet? Not on the Beastmaster. Demon Hunter is level 3 now. But he needs a level 3 Beastmaster. And then he wins the game, guys. I, I Yeah, I think Foggy just has this in the back. I don't see Foggy losing this. This is not the matchup that Foggy throws. Right? This is not... Like, if this was against a dad, right? Of course, Foggy would still lose even if he had an advantage like this. But uh, he's playing against Orc. And he knows how to beat Orc. This is, uh, you know... Foggy, uh, pretty strong here. I hope Lin and Foggy qualify. Well, it seems Foggy is going to qualify. And, uh, and then we have the Chimiko versus Lin. And I told you guys earlier, that is the losers finals. The, my predictions were completely right. Some of you were like, Chaco, your prediction was wrong about, uh, Chimiko losing to... Uh, Lin initially, but that doesn't even matter, right? Because what matters is I predicted them to meet in the losers round, in the losers finals, and there Chimiko would win, and there Chimiko. But I mean, my prediction is only like you know, I gave I give like a five percent advantage to Chimiko, like fifty five forty five. So Lin can still beat Chimiko. It's just he could also lose to Chimiko. Uh, we have the DC's level 4. Is he close to level 5? No. Blade Master is close to level 4, uh, but doesn't matter that much. Here, the shop is going down, guys. Shop is going down. 4G, poggers! There goes one building. Blade Master kills 189 critical strike. The shockwave there hits a lot of dudes over the Talon. Blade Master flying in the air. The burrow is gone, so fly, not fly. Lin is supply stock. Foggy with the Ancient. I like this Ancient War so much. I also like the second orb, but he doesn't go for the second orb. Okay. Uh, I would have liked the second orb. Look how much money Foggy has. Imagine if he had that orb here on the Beastmaster and the Tinker. Three orbs, he would win this game. But now he uh, has a huge bank. I wonder if this is. Uh, Still, I mean, if he can throw away the game here. The Druid of the Talon does die. He does have a DP, Foggy. And he's building this Ancient War. So he's planning to stay in the fight for a while. These Ancient Wars are great against the Raiders, against the the DC and the Blade Master, against the Peons. Not that great against the Spirit Walkers. Spirit Walkers killing the Beastmaster, though. 
Uh, there wasn't the hero with the TP, so... Or, wait a second. There was the hero with the TP. Uh-oh, Foggy has no more retreat. He has a lot of money. He might lose the game. He might throw away the game. It is pretty difficult, though, because his position is really nice for Foggy. Um, so if he really wants to throw away this game, he needs to find a way to, you know, lose his Ancient of Wars. There, there they go. We have six Spirit Walkers. They kill these Ancient of Wars so fast. They're like the counter to Ancient of Wars. Do you want to killing one Spirit Walker with the Tinker? Tinker now level 3. Uh, level 2 Pocket Factory, of course. Very powerful. Raiders killing Druids of Talon. Is this Beastmaster going to be back anytime soon? Not anytime soon. What he could do is... No, there's nothing he could do. Okay, Blade Master 177 critical strike on this uh, little fairy dragon. And this Raider, he wants to... Wait, this Raider should be careful. Hello, two hits and he's dead. Even these guys, maybe. Look, this guy wants to get the Raider. No, gave up. Blade Master, is he going for this dude of the Talon? A player's forces are under attack. Foggy, 200 pings. I mean, sure. But, you know, apparently... Even with 200 ping, he can beat Lin, guys. Just saying. You know, you guys always like to give excuses for people losing. That's always about ping. Well, I don't think ping matters as much as you guys think it matters. If Foggy can beat, beat Lin with uh, 200 ping. How much does the ping really matter? Beastmaster will be back soon. Soon. Let me drink some more vegetable juice. Forces are under attack. All pings are equal. Kepa pride. Kepa. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, you are a god of protection. <laughs> Stop talking about it. Hello! <laughs> Hello, this is like why, why people watch my stream. It's all about the predictions. Hello! We have so many healing potions. The beast master with the flute. All the piggies, all the birdies. Everyone with the extra damage now. The flute is nice. I really want to see more orbs though. Like like Foggy, I like how he stays at 50 supply and buys all these healing potions, you know, all these healing scrolls, ancient of wars. I really like, I've, I think Night Elf against orcs should never go over 50. And he doesn't even build an extra moonwall. I like this a lot, right? This is why Foggy is so good at this matchup. But I, what I would like though is just that orb, you know. Just get an orb on your Tinker. Get an orb on your Beastmaster. Maybe I should start coaching Foggy. Uh, Lin now only 56 supply. One burrow is gone. This uh, Spirit Lodge takes a bit of damage. I mean, it was still damage from earlier, but I still think he should just go for the burrows. He has TPs. He has two TPs now. One on Tinker, one on the Beastmaster. <laughs> Lin, what can Lin do? Lin. That's a level 5 TC. Okay, that's his comeback, guys. That's Lin's comeback mechanism. Uh, it's going to be difficult, though, even with a level 5 TC. But, you know, especially since he also lost half his base. Uh, but, you know, that's the only way to come back. Just really good shockwaves. He has the mana stone. Maybe uh, Foggy is just, you know, 200 ping and then he gets killed to buy all the shockwaves. That's the only way. TC one. There's a shockwave. It was alright. Shockwave is like five dudes of Talon, but healing scroll used. Uh, there's only four peons left. And one burrow. And he can just kill this burrow because. Oh, he's going for the town hall, sure. There's another shockwave. It's like seven dudes of Talon. We have more healing scrolls, though. But if he's out of healing scrolls, he might have to TP. Oh! He didn't use his healing scroll. He lost five dudes of Talon to that one shockwave. Is this the comeback here? The TC has, still has a mana stone. And, you know, there is that mana stone. He hit like eight Druids of the Talon there. And, uh, wait, the, be the Demon Hunter comes back. I wonder if Foggy can still throw away this game. He TPs out with the Beastmaster. Uh, oh, these Druids of the Talon get saved. They were about to die. Look, they were all under 200 hit points. So they would have all died. Those were his last Druids of the Talon. So Lin, he did a pretty good job there. Coming back into this game, at least trying to. Don't think it was enough, but it was very... Very good. Close, you know, it's pretty close now. 40 supply against 42. I mean, as, yeah, we still have the advantage, of course, for Foggy, but if he can do another. If Foggy can make another mistake, if Lin can get another similarly good 
engage. Why are these peons chopping trees? Does he not need? Oh, he doesn't have lumber. Okay, he went for an expansion, right? If Foggy can just screw some more, uh, some more things up, Lin can definitely still win the game. Did he? he uh, well, he did use the mana stone though, so no more mana stones. We have two healing scrolls here for our Lin. Foggy wants his expansion. There's 244 critical strike. He's going for the wisp. There's a detonate. There's some more detonates. Blade Master is flying. We have two berserkers here. He's going for this fairy dragon that is uh, has plus 12 armor because of the disco ball. Shockwave. Oh, the shockwave hit four dudes of the tail and the pocket factory. He has two more shockwaves. He really is. He hasn't. I haven't seen a mana burn in like hours. We need a few mana burns on this CC. Like, I wouldn't mind, for example, maybe buy an invis potion here for Foggy and just show up out of nowhere an invis uh, mana burn that TC. Right? And to get away. Oh, there's another shockwave kills three dudes of the tail end. And you know, uh, and if you need another info potion to get away, that's fine, right? It's like 250 gold for a mana burn. It's probably worth it because 250 gold is the same uh, money for a sh for a healing uh, scroll. <laughs> 250 gold is what I meant, right? 250 gold for a mana burn. At this point, this expansion is going up. Is under siege. Hello, hello, Virtuous Killer. 1350 gold uh, pots and scrolls. Okay, Michael, do some uh, math. A player's forces are under attack. Blade Master retreating. One move all went down. Do we have pillage? We do have pillage. Okay. Man, this army of Foggy doesn't look that strong anymore. The TC is just too powerful with this shockwave. Blade Master is flying. This raider is totally dead. Do we see the shockwave? There it is. He kills uh, one dude of the and hit three more. There's a mana burn on the TC. Hey, finally we hit that uh, mana burn. So there's one more shockwave. And there's a healing scroll. And all he, uh, this shockwave only hits two units. So, Foggy, he can, he can win this fight now. There's no more shockwaves. But look at this army of Lin. It looks so big and powerful. Look at this army of... Uh, Foggy, it just looks so weak and spaghetti. These heroes, heroes are only level 3. But these heroes are level 5. The, sh the Blade Master is level 5. Level 3 critical strike. This expansion is up in mining, but so is this one. Foggy should probably uh, send some summons to that expansion. Some piggies. But uh, he, I guess he never scouted it. This guy is... There's still some creeps over here. And they're attacking Foggy right now. And canceling clarity potions. <laughs> I don't, don't think Foggy ever scouted this expansion. I guess he never expected Lin to go for an expansion. This might just uh, lose Foggy the game. The fact that he doesn't know about this expansion. And this is a, a throw, guys. This is definitely a throw by Foggy. He was so far ahead. There goes the Druid of... Oh, the Shockwave hit only one, like, maybe one Druid of the Talon. Yeah, this one. Okay, that was not a good Shockwave. Burrow going up for Lin. <laughs> okay, now can I can read one more comment. It was a kind of long comment in my chat here. Uh, for some matchups, ping matters more. Of course, I completely agree with that statement. So far, at least. Uh, Blade Master needs good ping to steal creeps and items. Also, in that for nukes and heal. Not like Night Elf and Orc. Uh, Night Elf versus Orc. Only Cyclone. Yeah, I mean, sure. But Foggy, he also beat TBCBM. Which is, uh, you know, against Undead. The ping does matter, right? Night Elf against Undead. You need to stop while the coil is in the air. 
for that pig matters. The moon wall goes down. The second moon wall is also going down. Seems like uh, Foggy lost his main base. You have to rebuild moon walls over here. He's already uh, doing that. And Players you know, ah, we finally have some piggies over here. Piggy and Birdie. Birdie can't attack, but the piggy can. These peons are still low on the hit points from earlier. There comes another piggy. By the way, this burrow is also still easy target. So if a piggy, if this piggy right now feels like he shouldn't go there, like I feel like he shouldn't go there, because that's where the orc army is, he could have just gone over here and killed the burrow. Six wood. Chaco, you said Foggy won't fall. First orc, you liar. I'm a liar, guys. Piggy, Ohio. There's another piggy. Is he now going to the main base? By the way, Fog of War can be turned on. Kill the burrow. It's just such a free burrow. 285 hit points. If it just goes for the burrow right now, I don't even think the Blade Mash can defend it. But he doesn't go for the burrow. He doesn't go for it. Piggy, gone. More XP, just giving uh, XP. The TC, if he is level 6 though, doesn't matter. We saw level 6 TC last game and the level 6 TC lost. We saw level 6 Blade Master last game and level 6 Blade Master lost. So these heroes level 6 not that important. Uh, this game though, he's not playing against Drys, he's playing against Jews of the Talon, Talon, which is slightly different. Actually, the level 6 TC matters. Mm, I'm not sure if it matters less or more. Okay, so the Tinker places the Pocket Factory in Staff's home to defend. This shop is going down. Taking uh, mana away from Walker, so that's true, I guess. If they, uh, if he needs those that mana, right? If they fight, right? Walkers, uh, they still have plenty of mana, right? We'll see if they ever need this mana. Because look how, how how much mana the, these guys have. 335. Blade Master flying. There's a mana burn. You know, mana burn on the Spirit Walker. Shockwave hits the Spirit Walker. Uh, Blade Master is flying. Oh, the Spirit Walker. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Meanwhile, the Fairy Dragon is dying. That's for sure. There's a Shockwave. Hits a lot of units. And this Berserker is, you know, he's retreating. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, player's forces are under attack by the Piggy still. Pocket factory did go down. The altar is still up, by the way. And it's cheap next to it. Okay. This looks like another weird game. Welcome to Weird Game Friday, guys. We only have weird games today. Oh, this piggy one. Wanted to enjoy some peon killing, but then he realized, oh, there's an army here, an orc army. Let me, uh, you know, let me go over here and creep some creeps. Oh, pocket factory in the main. But these pocket goblins, clockwork goblins, they can kill the main, which is 10 supply as well. And then I don't think they can reach the burrow. Oh, there's still beast area over here that he can kill. Piggy, coming back in. He wants his burrow. Oh shit, and still PG Cup later, yeah. It's picky. Oh, this uh, peon very low, but he doesn't get it. Uh, the altar going down. The, t the stronghold is down. This bestiary will survive, but maybe in the next pocket factory can kill the bestiary, kill the burrow, and do some damage to the altar. Oh, do we have a fight here? Flying berserkers. Blade Master is all the way over there. TC with the shockwave. He has a TP as well, and he used the info potion now. He has a mana potion. He cannot surround these berserkers because if he does, it just sets him up uh, to be shockwaved. But the demon hunter scares away the TC. And as you can see, he doesn't even go for the surround. He just kills one berserker just manually. Just, you know, he's dead. These spirit walkers, not sure what they were doing. Uh, info potion used on demon hunter that has still three glows of haste. He attacks so fast. Shockwave is like five uh, dudes of Dalen and the Beastmaster. Uh, demon hunter has healing potions. He receives another healing potion from someone, uh, but you know, there's a mana burn on this guy. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Uh, does he have moon juice? He has plenty of moon juice, so 
Bobby needs to go here. He's, he's gonna lose some units though if he wants to if he just retreats like this. The Raiders just isn't staring all the Druids of the Talon. And he just lost a bunch of Druids of the Talon. But Foggy using a clarity. Buying some more items. He has an ancient of wind up. Two ancient of winds. And he's gonna drink some moon juice. And he has a pocket factory here. There goes one of the uh, buildings. Was it was the Angel of Wonders? Uh, yeah, there was Angel of Wonders. There's the uh, Blade Dance or Blade Storm or what's this skill even called? I don't even know. Is it Blade Dance or Blade Storm? Blade Storm, and then 260 uh, critical strike on the Beastmaster. He's dead. And Foggy, I feel like he's dead, guys. I feel like Foggy just, you know, he was like, okay, I don't need to win this game. I want to show Chaco. Hi to Chaco. Another game. It's just so it's super exciting. Uh, and that's just so nice here. Not so nice by Foggy. This Demon Hunter is in snare. Nice 252 critical strike. Never miss. Uh, Blade Master does TP, but oh, Demon Hunter survives. The game is not over yet, guys. And we have more. I mean, hello to Raiders. Two Raiders, they don't beat a 44 hit point Demon Hunter. Even though you think they do, <laughs> they don't actually. Especially not if there's Moon Juice. And if there's Juice of the Talon and a Tinker. Okay, okay guys, but you know, okay, just a lot of okay is what I have to say here. Okay, Korean shockwave, no, GG, okay, Foggy GG's out, we're going to the third game between Lin and Foggy. I mean, he's, he's not sure yet, he's gonna, this is the friend that made his van, he's gonna, first he's gonna drive through Europe, live here for a few years in his van. And uh, yeah, we have this game by the way. So uh, Hunter's Hall aims the war here for Foggy, so he's not going for uh, this creeping. He's going for Huntresses. Maybe we'll go for Dryads again. He won the first game with Dryads. Team Hunter Mana Burns the Blade Master. Going for the Hunter's Hall. Blade Master attacking the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is still alive. Demon Hunter is walking on the map, guys. He, oh, Blade Master and Grunt. Go for the Moonwall. Do we get a Huntress? Yes, we're gonna get a Huntress. Painkiller. You're sure. Four mana mana burn. Not the best mana mana burn. Uh, but, you know, why not? You know, why not? Ancient Protector. This Ancient Protector seems standard nowadays, but never seems to do very much even if it goes up undetected it seems like that it does nothing right <laughs> this, ancient, this ancient protector the wisp here repairing the moonwell there's a hunters is under let's see what it does this game Players yeah the grunt of course he scouts it you know because every night of this is every game they go huntresses team hunter and the uh, hunters over here painkiller painkiller uh, protect just a diversion maybe yeah I mean it's a beautiful building though but blade master has now a circlet he doesn't buy boots a town is under siege, a town is under siege by a huntress a players forces are under attack can be different situation countries and part of US. Wait, what? Country. Oh, there's a nice mana burn. This blade master, he's killing huntresses. He's killing. He's now going for this hunters. This no brute. Is he dead? He is dead. So we have 48 XP here on the blade master. Kills not a null. Three huntresses now. Do we see Ancient of Lords or do we see Ancient of Winds? That's my question. Do we see a TC or do we see a Shadow Hunter? Not a question here by me. I don't see a hero yet. So it's a Shadow Hunter. Okay, perfect. And this grunt's healing. What do we see here though? Nothing. We don't see anything. There's a bestiary, there's a spirit lodge. Team Hunter gonna buy a hero? Beastmaster. What does it mean? It means nothing yet. There's the Ancient of Wind. He's going for uh, Juice of the Talon so far. 
Do we have a scout? The grunt scout, and if the grunt sees it, is he gonna cancel the shadow hunter and go for a TC, or is he gonna keep going shadow hunter? Can Lin just go hand? <laughs> There's a no. No, hello. Hello to work. Welcome to work of three, Michael. There's no headhunters in this game. The grunt, he did see the angel of wind. He doesn't cancel the shadow hunter though. It would take way too long to get his TC. Grunt, going for the angel of wonders. Blade Mavs is gonna help out a little bit. Oh, going for the angel of wind. There's a TP home to defend his angel of wind. Did he, he did lose his ancient? Uh, no, wait, what? never mind. Uh, beautiful game today. These heroes are level one. There's the ancient wonders coming back up. So with the shadow hunter, you kind of want to win early. I wonder if next patch, the shadow hunter could actually be a more valid long-term strategy in this matchup because with the uh, words, words are maybe good against this matchup, right? Against huntresses, against Druids of Talon. They're magic immune, so Druids of Talon can't kill them. They do a lot of piercing damage, so they kill the huntresses very fast. They kill the uh, Druids of Talons very fast. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Slippers of Agility, pretty good item here. And Info Potion. Should really oh, it gives the slippers to the Demon Hunter. Blade Master is just being uh, annoying, but you know, he almost got surrounded. Gets away. Shadow Hunter creeping over here. Wow. Circlet picked up here by the Shadow Hunter. So, oh, Goo -goo -goo. okay. You did buy a Berserker, so if you were talking about Hat Hunters, this is a much better alternative. Instead, just buy Berserkers. You can even buy the other one as well. Right, just mass berserkers. That's actually pretty good. Berserkers are such a better unit than headhunters. There's a nice uh, fairy fire on the blade master. Headhunters should have a headshot ability. What is it like? Critical strike. Birdie goes down. Shadowhunter. Is he going for an expansion? That is so smart. You know why this is so smart? I'll tell you guys why this is so smart. And usually I say this is absolutely stupid and it's the worst thing you can do. But in this case, it's so smart and the smartest thing you can do. Because he went for the Shadow Hunter, right? Instead of the TC. If he had a TC here, I would say it's the stupidest thing he can do. But since he went for the Shadow Hunter, he will he is stronger early game, right? He is stronger. Well, actually his TC will be around level three already now, but Shadow Hunter is uh, better in smaller size armies. And TC is better in, in bigger size armies, right? Because Shockwave is just, you know, an AOE spell. The bigger the army, the more damage it does. Right, so... Um, so Shadowhunter is good early game, but weak late game. So what does he do? To translate his early advantage into late game advantage is just to go for an expansion. Foggy scouts it though, and he built the Ancient of War. Shadowhunter now with Scourge Bone Chimes. His Grunts and Raiders now a lot stronger, or a lot... Uh, more durable. Crunch, they don't have Berserker upgrade. Is that on purpose? He does have the Lumber, but of course, since he went for this expansion, he's kind of low on Lumber. So if he goes for it, he would still have plenty of Lumber. I think he can go for it. Uh, we have Mr. Foggy here, just in his base. He already is flying, he already has Master upgrade. He's going for uh, Nature's Blessing. Of course, the Demon to not level 3 yet. Beastmaster not level 3 yet, but both are pretty close. And there's no Tinker yet either. Or Keeper. Uh, I wouldn't um, mind the Keeper in this situation. Why not? Chaco, you're always, you know, you always say, you know, Tinker is amazing. Yeah, I think Tinker is amazing. And he goes Tinker. Uh, Tinker is good against the uh, expansion, actually. Tinker can, you know, is good against buildings and base race. But so is the Keeper. Keeper is also good against base race situation where the Orc is trying to do a lot of base racing because you can uh, snipe his raiders with a uh, tangle much more easily. And since the uh, orc went for uh, another TC for his, but for shadow hunters, army is weaker anyway. So maybe with the keeper he can win the fights anyway, and then you can pick off units on top of that. But you know the tinker is, uh, you know, it's, it's 
is is fine. You know, the Tinker. Now he will win any fight for sure. And he can, uh, you know, kill bases faster. This ancient war. Is he going to hit this? Why is he just walking past it? Why does he... Okay, now he attacks it. There's some peons. One shot, one kill. Okay. But they don't really shoot. They throw, right? One throw. One kill. Yeah, this ancient war. Now he's killing peons. And uh, Foggy makes sure that the Lin has to defend here. So uh, that the Ancient of War is free to, do, to kill the peons. And with the piggy, the peons are actually just going to die. I don't know why Lin is uh, just mining there with the peons. He should probably retreat with the peons. Look, they're all just going to die. One is dead. And, and as, again, Ancient of Wars, I like this so much, right? This is actually how you should play this matchup. I'm, I'm glad. On, on the one hand, I'm glad someone found it out because we see... Uh, well, innovations. On the other hand, how is Orc ever going to defend this, right? <laughs> Orcs will have to do some innov innovation as well against these Ancient of Wars. Or is this just enough? Just 62 supply army. Let's see. This this sheep is ensnared as a wisp, actually. Wait, is that a wisp? It's a baby seal. That was a baby seal as a wisp. There goes one Ancient of War. Ancient of War and the Piggy doing a lot of damage over there. Arcadas with burning oil not viable enough? No, no. Uh, you need a war mill, you need a fortress, and you need a burning oil upgrade. It's it's too expensive. And the burning oil is not really that good even. <laughs> it's not like the mortar teams. The mortar teams are with the shatter shards, they are very powerful, but the burning oil not really. There goes the Ancient of War. There's a TP in, but he lost like a bunch of burrows. He lost a bunch of units. Lin had to use a TP. These Ancient of Wars guys, they're pretty strong. And you know, you can build Ancient of Wars without going over 50, right? So just keep building Ancient of Wars. Uh, I kind of want the Ancient of, uh, of Wonders as well, so you can buy that. You know, maybe you can just upload this Ancient of Wonders and walk it over. So you can buy uh, more orbs of poison, venom. Angel Boar here eats a tree. And this piggy is going down, guys. There's a nice 135 critical strike. And this burrow is going down for sure. There it goes. Shadow shards? <laughs> Shattering shards. No, but uh, fragmentation shards is what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, there's a piggy. Uh, we have this beautiful fight. There goes another Angel Boar. This one's fighting against a burrow. So let's see. Lin need, needs to win this fight. Uh, to stand a chance in this game. No, I mean, actually, he still has this expansion mining. You know, actually, uh, this is still anyone's game. These Huntresses are dying slowly, or fast, actually, against two Berserkers. This this Huntress, anyone can kill her. A Blade Master flying. This position is just too good here for Foggy with the Pocket Factory uh, in a safe spot. With the Ancient Word just killing another Burrow. Lin is still 20 supply up, and he has an expansion mining, but he lost a lot of buildings. Foggy also lost buildings. He lost Angels of War. Okay, I, I really like this game, guys. This is a really good game. The Blade Master just bought all the items, two healing scrolls and the info potion. Foggy, I mean, what can Foggy do? Maybe Foggy during all this should have built an expansion. And uh, he would be in a good spot now. But now Foggy, the pressure's on Foggy. He needs to keep fighting. He, he, he cannot retreat. This berserk kill would be huge, and it is huge. And uh, maybe, maybe uh, his opponent Lin could build some more burrows because uh, uh oh, these peons—they didn't want to die. Two of them do die. This position. What is this uh, arc? Oh, they're killing the burrow. I thought this was like a defensive position or something. But uh, the shadow hunter, of course, flying. You can just bunch up these units. There's no shockwave, so you're not afraid of uh, you know anything really. We have two berserkers here for Lin. He can buy more, of course, at the um, mercenaries. Steam Hunter in the front. Play oh, but are they, are they, why are they attacking the altar? The Druids of the Tail and Hello. The Grunt here takes a bit of damage. These uh, Raiders are flying. This Grunt is retreating. Can the Demon Hunter kill the Grunt? He's trying. He kills it. We have still have a Healing Scroll on the Demon Hunter. And a Healing Potion on the Beastmaster that he could give to the Demon Hunter and Tinker as well. Uh, he did, does give the Healing Potion to the Demon Hunter. The Shadow Hunter is out of mana. He has a 
Clarity, though, uses a uh, speed scroll and a heal scroll. Uh, but, you know, it seems like Foggy is just. His position is too powerful when there's no shockwave. There goes the Pocket Factory. I don't like that position too much there, to be honest. There's a TP out by Demon Hunter, and, and Lin survives. Lin is not dead yet, yet, and because he's not dead yet, he still has his income. The piggy, oh, the piggy killed so many peons. Lin was a bit late at uh, putting his peons in the burrows. He lost three peons there. But he has plenty of peons still. How much gold is left in main? 3k over here? Almost 4k? Maximum elf cheese? I don't think, I don't consider this cheese, you know? I don't consider anything we've seen this game as cheese. For either player, really. Even that expansion. Blade Master level 4, he sells his uh, Linehorn of Stormwind. Shadowhunter is level 4, he's almost level 5. And of course, Foggy has to attack, he has to, because he doesn't have expansion, he just needs to keep fighting, keep winning. Keep killing peons. Why, did all the peons die? Wait. Did he still have a piggy here or something? Killing all the peons? Well, I was uh, I was just resting in between the fights. Demonter is back, but he's surrounded by his own tombs of the Talon. Olal. Olal, BG Morgan. What is this? It's dead. 120 critical strike. It's dead. That ancient protector at the start could be counting as cheese. Mini cheese, if you will. I, I don't know, because it's kind of standard, right? It's kind of... Right, even I don't think that's cheese because even if it gets scouted, you don't lose much, and if it doesn't get scouted, it's not like you gain much. It's just I don't know. It's I don't I don't really even con consider that cheese anymore. Maybe at some point I did, but anyway, we have uh, this beautiful fight here. Demon are going for the oh, Berserker is flying. Uh, Beastmaster in the back here. You have to be careful. It doesn't have healing potion, info potion, or TP. Demon Hunter uh, has an info potion and a healing scroll. No, no TP for Foggy. So she's all in here, guys. All in. It's almost like he's playing poker, but no, he's not playing poker. Just Pocket Factory. Uh, decently placed, I guess, because no one kills it. And a Blade Master flying. Okay. The Demon Hunter uh, couldn't get an. Uh, he needs mana burn. Hello. The Shadow Hunter is mana, and he uses a level 3 healing wave. There's so much. All of this was in the red, and now it's all in the green again. Now he mana burns for six. That's not very good. That that the healing wave might have been the difference between winning and losing the game here. If Lin wins this game, it was definitely because uh, Foggy didn't mana burn there in time. But I mean, it doesn't look like Lin is going to win this game. I'm just saying, you know, if Lin wins this game, that it was that mana burn that Foggy could have uh, done. It wa there was no cooldown. And that would have made a huge difference. Okay, I don't think uh, time is ticking for Foggy. Lin still isn't fully mining. Uh, at the moment, it's no longer ticking. Um, I guess you were right that Lin was not mining here. But, I mean, Lin was mining here. And this gold mine is almost empty, right? He will get a free expansion, I guess, at this point. Happy uh, Foggy will. Foggy is now up in supply. And... Um, Oh, this fairy dragon gets ensnared. He's going to die. So, Druids of Talon getting ensnared. They match with the Invo Potion. Go for the Demon Hunter. Painkiller. The Raiders are, have good surface area over the Druids of Talon. Where's that pocket factory? Uh, there it is now. Uh, don't like this placement whatsoever. It's like in the middle of the orc army. Look at how fast it goes down. And this this pocket factory is just, you know, don't think of pocket factory as uh, tanking, guys. Think of it as a DPSer. The Druid of Talon is going to die. Rawr. The Druid of Talon maybe as well. Let's see. He has mana. He could just cast some fairy fires. Right, that's some uh, like it's not like he was microing something over here. He could have just selected this fairy, this uh, Druid of the Talon, casted Fairy Fire on like whatever target he wants, and then cast it again on a different target. He had like a few Fairy Fires available.
Lin is getting his burgers back. It's still kind of even. 48 against 50. Uh, Foggy, he does have Nature's Blessing, of course. We saw the Angel of Wars earlier. But this angel, this tree will walk over here. It has to entangle the tree. He will be out of gold for like a minute. Actually, I'm, I'm curious exactly how long he won't... Uh, how long he will won't... How long he won't be mining for exactly. You know, we're going to time that. That's for sure. A player's forces are under attack. Serpent Wars MVP. While Lin wasn't supposed to take on this fight. XD. No TC is really hurting Lin. When your base is worse position to fight. Yeah. Hunts, dots, hidden APs, ancient Ws. I should say maximum elf trickery. Yeah, I mean maximum elf trickery. But that's how you play this game, guys. He's working through. Okay, he's, he's done mining. What time was it? It was about 21.05. Let's say that's when, he's, when he was uh, finished mining. We won last game, Lin won, so it's 1 1. You can see the score at the top left for if you uh, you guys that don't realize, or maybe you have a, you're watching on a smartphone and you don't see. We have a score here. Here is his name is Lin in purple. Here's name is Foggy in the blue. We see a 1 over here and a 1 over here. That means it's 1 1. They both won 1 map. Over here in the very small, the yellow, it says BO on top of the line and then under the green line it says 3. Which stands for best of 3. It's a really nice system. Anyway, Foggy again is attacking. The Cyclone cancel Big Bad Voodoo, yes. Okay, well. Here comes uh, the counter attack. He does have pillage, so these Moomos, these Moomos are pretty precious. If he turns, he's still walking. And Lin is just mining. Lin is just mining, mining, mining. And he's getting money from the pillage as well. Uh, two move out kills gives 180 gold and 40 lumber. I mean, that's just with the Raiders. So he has a lot of DPS, which is not Raiders. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, three, uh, four Berserkers now. Three uh, Shadow Walkers. So only the Raiders, of course, have pillage. Meanwhile, the Pocket Factory left behind over here. It does so much damage against buildings. One Pocket Factory is like three Raiders. Man, it's just so much damage. Raider is flying. Uh, okay, yeah. Demon Hunter here takes a bit of damage. Blade Master misses the Demon Hunter. He's almost level 5, by the way. Use the Info Potion. Uh, these Raiders. Uh, okay, they're killing Druid of the Talon. This Druid of the Talon is not dead yet. Uh, did he use the Heal Score or something? How did the Druid of the Talon survive? Uh, we, these Berserkers are in the back. Four Berserkers. There's just so many Berserkers. And you don't need the. Uh, Wormill to get those berserkers. This uh, guy goes down, the fairy dragon. And is he mining yet? Not yet, okay. He's not mining yet, guys. These raiders attack the. Oh, he's gonna go for more moon walls. 44 supply is 56. And uh, still, Foggy's not mining. Stinker takes a lot of damage. Is he going to die? Is Stinker Chan going to die? He does die. And, I mean, it doesn't look so good for Foggy anymore, does it? It looked like good like th uh, two minutes ago, but this not this uh, main gold mine being out of gold. I forgot what time it was. Actually, <laughs> 05, right? The Blade Master does have to TP out. One berserker dies. This berserker over here also dead. And uh, okay, in the end there was good fight. Uh, good for Foggy. He killed some units. He's forced to TP. And is this mining? Okay, it's mining. So about it's almost three minutes, guys. Almost three minutes for this Ancient of Tree of Eternity to walk from here to here. And that's with Nature's Blessings. Almost three minutes that he wasn't mining. That that uh, Lin was just mining. And how much gold is that? Three minutes? I should have checked his gold mine the moment he uprooted. Because I don't know. How much gold is that? Like 3,000? 1,000 gold a minute? Is that about right? No, that's not right, right? How much? Okay, now I'm curious. How much gold is it is per minute? <laughs> 100 gold per minute? No, it's more than that. The Druid of the Talon is dead. Bar. Bar. 2k? 2k in 3 minutes? Okay, there goes another Druid of the Talon. The Demon Hunter was a piggy. So 2k gold, guys. That uh, Lin just got as a present. This Demon Hunter has to use the Info Potion. Tinker's not back yet. And the Beastmaster... He is uh, ensnared. He's taking a lot of damage from the Blade Master. Is he dead? He's dead. And that's probably uh, gonna be it. I mean, it's not over yet. I'm not saying that this is game. I'm just saying this will spiral out of control. And eventually this will be game. He cannot buy his hero back yet. He should be able to do it, right? He should have the money by now. 
So my more dudes of the Talon dying. And the Shadowhunter is level 6, but he went for level 3 Hex, of course. Uh, surprised still that he... I mean, imagine... Next patch, by the way. Next patch, he would definitely not go for level 3 Hex. He would have level 1 Hex, level 2 Serpent Wards by now. But this is not next patch. This is still the old patch. And Snare on the Demon Hunter. That's nice. The snare on the Demon Hunter again. Blade Master, do we see some crits? Do we see the crits? No, there's a miss. There's a 252 crit. Uh, Demon Hunter is not even fighting back. More Druids of the Talon dying. Uh, Demon Hunter, you know, mana buffer for 32 on the Shadow Hunter. He wants his Berserkers. Okay, Beast Tinker will come back sometime in the future. And uh, Demon Hunter, GG's. Okay. Lin wins, as I predicted, of course, Kappa.